So today I'm with Kyle Langland, and Kyle, would we, you start off by introducing yourself, hometown, when you graduated from VCSU, your major, anything you were involved in while you were in college? Uh, <clears throat> name's Kyle Langland. I am from Enderlin, North Dakota. Um, I graduated in the fall of 2014, and I graduated with a computer information systems degree, and I was involved in baseball for two years, and the Viking Ambassador for one year. Okay. Now if I remember right, you started off at Valley, and then you left us for two years? A year? One year. One year. And came back to us? Yep. Okay. All right. Um, so, once you decided on your CIS major, what kinds of things did you do as far as internships or things to help you be marketable? So, once I decided on CIS, I became an IVM assistant and got acclimated with the technology that VCSU had. Then, um, after my spring semester of 2013, I got an internship with Bobcat and Gwinner. And I did that uh, through the summer and the fall. Um, and I took that fall off and I took the internship credits. And then I got asked to stay on and extended my offer until August of 2014. Um, and while I was doing that, I was going to school in the spring semester. So then I was down to just one semester left, and after I ended in August, I came back to BCSU. So I had uh, 16 months work experience with Bobcat. Okay. What kind of work did they have you doing down there? Uh, I was an IT position. It was more is technical service representative. Um, so we did anything with computer software, hardware. Uh, we were supporting robots, uh, touchscreen computers, and then any any network issues, we had a network migration, so there was a whole bunch of things, so okay. it was a great experience for getting a hands on everything. Okay, um, and so the whole time you interned, you took classes online? I just, I did an internship credit for the fall, Okay. and then that was all I had, so I didn't, I had just those credits, those classes, and then the next go around I had to full 12 credits full-time student and was doing working okay. as an internship. Because I know you were on campus a couple of days a week. Just Tuesdays. Okay, so okay. Worked, just one day. Yeah. All right, so, so everybody was flexible and yep. made it all work. Yep. Okay. So um, your current position is what? I'm an IT analyst at Cognizante. Okay. And what is this company? <laughs> what can you tell us about this company? Uh, they're, the, this company is... a uh, healthcare um, driven company. Uh, we do stuff with insurances um, and also um, claims slash policies with, with the government and state agencies. Okay. So what's the main thing that you do as an IT analyst? Um, right now I oversee uh, three three individuals that are on the help desk answering calls and okay. I also support my center here of workers. Okay. So, and then when I can, uh, I'll help with remote individuals' okay. issues they have with computers as well. Okay. So what does it take to be successful as an IT analyst? Focused <laughs> and organized. Okay. Those are the biggest things. Um, because you'll be given tasks, and a lot of times it's more than one task. Okay. So you need to make sure you're organized for that and focus you can get it done. Mm -hmm. And then one of the biggest things is having good customer service, okay. being personable. So if you, and if you have questions to ask. So. Okay, good. Um, is this the only location for this company? No, there is two offices in Fargo. Um, there is an office in Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, Scottsdale, Arizona, McLean, Virginia, Ellicott City, Maryland, and then about 
75 percent of our company is re remote work from home okay okay so can you like put in to work from Scottsdale for January February March um, <laughs> they'll, they'll will I have gone to a couple of sites okay Actually, it's for just a week at a time okay but you get you get to know everybody and work with somebody sure or they'll ship them up here so okay it's kind of nice they'll ship you for a week and you get to experience it okay so when there's hiring for the company what do you think they're looking for as far as skills ability a lot of a lot of the positions here um, in this office are entry level and you don't need a whole lot of experience you'll gain that here okay but the biggest thing they're looking for is if you're going to be on time and dedicated to work okay. and willing to learn. Right. Because they'll teach you, show you everything you need to need to know. It's just a matter of you're going to be on time and show up to work and then work when you're here. Okay. What advice would you give to a new college graduate about to enter the workforce? If it's not too late, make sure you get an internship. Okay. That's Get, get your work experience before you graduate. I had work experience before I graduated and I found the job, no problem. It's when you sit back and wait and just try to get down with college that your got jobs aren't going to find you as easily.